my party We're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crash it in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar And the crowd is going wild It's not Fooey country up in here and That's exactly right This is capital punishment right here one of the biggest shows of the year. That's right, Mickey Holtz has some bad blood with David Parrish. And looks like he's ready for a fight right now. And also joins us with some bands. AIWF Hall of Famer Sergeant Stryker. Glad to see you here tonight also. Well, it's good to be here, Bobby. Pleasure and honor, Mr. Stryker. Yes, this is going to be a crazy matchup. Yes, Already right off the bat, Mickey Fulp is ready for a fight tonight. Oh, he is all fired up. I tell you what, Parrish had a victory over Mickey a while back, but Mickey does not forget and now he's ready to even the score here. And here we go, the matchup here, starting off here. There's the bell, and Mickey without it. Oh, there it goes again. Coming in hot again with the fury. Well, he, he may be half drunk on them natty lights that he drinks, but his spears ain't missing the mark. That's no, right. Not at all. And I tell you what, wrestling fans, if you remember, Mickey Pope led Team AIWF to a victory at our anniversary show that you can watch on Roku. Yeah. Uh -oh, going home! Oh, what a close on in the corner. Mickey Fall coming in against Snapper. Drop kick from behind, working the back. There's a the cover. One, two, no, two count. I tell you, I don't think I've ever seen Mickey this fired up. I've only seen him fired up one other time really like this right here, and that was probably his feud uh, between him and, uh, well, I would say Ty Tyson and Kevin Phoenix. Yeah, you're right. He's got that old fire back in him. I'll tell you what. Watch anybody with champion, oh! Any of these title holders better watch out if he gets that mojo back that he had. Once he gets some mojo going, so oh, good. There's the cover again. One, two, and good on Mickey. This is what I like. He's intensity, but he's staying on his opponent. Yes. And that's exactly what you've got to do. You've got to stay on top of your opponent. You cannot give him any time to breathe. Oh, not at all. Going to base. Oh, and that's what happens. The counter there from David Parrish. Boot to the gut. That'll stop you in your tracks. Here we go. Off the ropes. Go! Counter! Oh, no. Goodness. Looks like Mickey tried to counter there, but David saw it coming midair. What an arm drag. Yeah, he's holding the back of that head. He could get a concussion like from that. He's not careful. Kind of a hip toss going into a modified net swing net uh, break. Yeah, I've got to put that down. Like, you, like my... Uh, like my colleagues say, stolen. I'm going to put that in my playbook. Yeah, he's using <laughs> the ropes you know. as leverage over there. Oh, using the ropes as leverage. Trying to cut that oxygen off. Well, trying to change the pace here. Mickey with the counter back in the corner. And here comes the rush down combos from Mickey Fulp in the corner. Uh-oh, oh, a lot of close fist action going on right there, though. Now Paris fighting back on him. And now Paris back on top. Bringing in the paint, slowing down the pace here on the matchup, which is a good strategy here. You don't want to get Mickey Fulp going again because no. you might lose your momentum in the matchup. Exactly right. He's got him in the arm bar right here, keeping him down. And if you, if you keep Mickey on the mat, that ground game could be worth your advantage. Oh, nice toss right there. Uh, you know he has that ground game on lock. Oh, drop kick. A beautiful drop kick here by David Parrish right in the midsection. Knock, I think he knocked the wind out of him. It looks like it. Yeah, Mickey's holding that shoulder also. He's working on the whole side of it. There we go, working that arm up against the rope. Taking a lot of the power out of those hits from Mickey Fulp. Let me tell you, he may have a small frame, but those hits are. Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. Most definitely. And, I mean, whether it be the arm or whether it be the leg, if you can't walk and you can't swing your arm, you can't fight. That's right. One thing about Mickey, though, you better buy kill him because if you don't, he's going to keep fighting and cook until there's nothing left in him. Now Paris got a nice arm bar right there on him. Mickey Fulp, they're working up to his feet, trying to get some space up, trying to get some advantage here. Get him to the corner. Well, That's good on David Parrish getting his leg on the rope here, but good on the ref there calling it. Oh, oh what Dirty comes. tactics here. Yeah. Look at him for a minute like he beat him, but he poked him. Oh, a little tip for tap. There we go, working the arms again. Oh. oh. Somewhat of a camel clutch almost. Yeah, going to modify camel clutch right there, working that lower back. 
And also, he's got that arm hook behind his legs, so not only is he working that arm and shoulder, but he's working that lower back also. That's a good strategy there from David Patterson. I take out the power of making the bolt. Picking him up, though. David oh. Patterson, trouble! Oh, oh my goodness. That's a way to break it. That's one way. There's a cover. Come on, Mickey. One, two, Man, two, go. And what a matchup. This is just the first matchup, ladies and gentlemen. It's already heating up here. Yes, it is. Oh, he's... Now, Paris going back to that arm and shoulder area, Mickey. Working that shoulder and that wrist. Shades of the Andersons of their days. Oh! Trying to break that arm. Again, Mickey in trouble. Yes, he is. Back oh. in the corner. Using those ropes again. Yeah. Back to the throat. Pressed against his throat. A little Derek Parrish are stalking Mickey Folk now. This has just become personal. He's making it personal here. He's not just trying to beat him. He's trying to bring him down. It's like he's trying to embarrass yeah. him for yep. some reason. Exactly. Well, I mean, they've had a long going feud, feud for a long time. So, I mean, uh, well, oh, Mickey Folk fighting back. back. Oh, oh, Another one. Oh, oh, nice. He did it thrice. Oh. He's got red whips on him already from that. Uh, one more time. The crowd is calling it. Oh, oh, oh man. man. And those chops, yeah, those relentless chops from Mickey Fault. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, David Parrish are working that arm again. Right into a hammerlock. Hammerlock takeover. Look, Mickey Fault quick with the offense and trying to fight back here. Yeah, he's definitely at a disadvantage right now with that shoulder as much as Paris has worked oh, on the it. Counter, the ref should be counting. His shoulders are down. Mickey coming back up to his feet, trying to fight through the pain. Work through here. Oh, what a hit right bump. there. Now he's come, trying to come back. Again, that was a rush, beautiful oh, rushdown combo for Mickey Fulp. Off the ropes. Coming in for a close line, oh. baby. Oh, the shots oh. are coming down. He's Mickey Fulp is feeling it. Oh, oh, what a double hair top. Oh, man. He's catching his second win. Mickey's fired up. There's a headbutt. David Parrish in trouble. Off the ropes. Mickey's feeling the heat. Coming through. Oh, got him. Backbreaker. Uh-oh. He's got the best ever. What a beautiful combination. David Parrish right. smart to roll out of the ring. Yeah, this is not a good place to be for either one of them. No, Mickey's at all. taking his time, though. He's stalking him. That was a smart move by Paris. What's going on here? Cassie Kane. Cassie Kane is out here. What is he doing? How is he cheating? Mickey Foe not happy with that yeah, interruption is. here by Cassie Kane. We had a good match going without somebody interfering. Uh oh. The backstab. Oh, no, oh, Mickey. Oh, low blow. With the low blow. David, with the, low David low. Paris. There's a the cover. Be. One, two, three. No. Oh. And the crowd not happy at all with that outcome, and neither am I. No, no, no. I mean, he had no reason to be out here, but the veteran that Mickey Fulp is, he should have known not to turn his back on his opponent. That's good. And you never want to keep your eyes off the opponent, no matter what's going on there inside. Because that's what happens. But I think Derek Paris has just realized he just kicked the hornet's nest. Oh. Guarantee, wrestling fans. One thing about it, Mickey Fulton will get justice on both of these guys because this thing is not over with. This is not over yet. That's right, Bobby. Mickey Fulton in the middle of the ring. What a way to take the L. I call dinners. That was some shake dinners. Yeah, yeah. Unfo unfortunately, yeah. the referee didn't see it, so he can't call it. Mickey surprised us as the crowd here as he realizes he took the L this evening. Mickey trying to plead his case with the referee, but no avail. Jimmy Valiant, Boogie Woogie, oh, man. Legendary Boogie Woogie. Yeah. Wait a minute, baby, wait a minute, hang on, hang on. What are you doing around here? Who was that calling me, brother? This is our neighborhood. This is a young man's game. You should be retired, Boogie. Wait a minute, boys. Let me take a bite of my King Dog. Did you say King Dog? King Dog. Is that what you said? <laughs> Don't let
let hunger bully you. Get yourself a king dog and you too can become a super hunger fighter. Sparks coming in, known for his technical style as he tries to come in. A well oiled machine when it comes to the air ring action. I believe this is the first time I ever seen him wrestle, so I don't exactly, I don't know what his repertoire is or anything like that, but I'm interested to find out. But, but we all know this person right here getting ready to come out. That's right. Well. And here he is. Don't let that physique fool you, ladies and gentlemen. That man can go. Yeah, he's definitely a crowd favorite right here. I mean, I, mean, I know it sounds sort of cliche to try to compare people to other people, but Dirty Joe sort of reminds me of Samoa, so. Yeah, he does. He's a big man, but he can move. Yeah. Let me tell you. The rest of the machine is going to have to kick it up a couple of gears if he's going to try to take the W here tonight and win that ball. Yeah. I think the only thing that Samoa Joe has over Dirty Joe is a few more years of experience in the sport. But already, look, he's a champion already starting off. And I think Dirty Joe is ready to go. He is the current and defending reigning Cruiserweight champion. From Dade County, Florida, weighing in at 240 pounds, Dave Joe! Crowd favorite here tonight, Dirty Joe. I couldn't tell if he was going to eat that belt or just getting in the mood. He's fired up, ready to go. Oh, he is. And this crowd's fired up for Dirty Joe also. Gold on the line, cruiserweight on the line. Yeah, referee Timmy's going to have to really be on his game on this one. Yeah, he's going to have his work cut out for him. And there's the open the bell, wrestling fans, in this cruiserweight title match right here. Well, we've got cruiserweight title on the line. Both gentlemen in the lockup, in the neutral. Dirty Joe already with the wrist lock here. Working the hole, putting the leverage in. Reversal. Yeah. Great reversal there. Yep, you can't get too cocky. That's he's right. That running his mouth to the crowd, saying he's got this right now. We'll go back in a hammer lock. Very well done here. Putting on a clinic in there. Oh yeah. yeah Sparks got, with a counter. Hammer lock of his own. Dirty Joe in trouble. To, both guys seem to be pretty well trained right here, though. With such a simple move, it's so effective. Let me tell you, it still hurts. Oh yeah. Oh. Overhand wrist lock. Is it locked in? Can they put the pressure to pull, pull down uh, Corey Sparks? Sparks trying to counter out, trying to get out here. It's a little joint manipulation. Oh, back into a wrist lock. Some great A wrestling though, going for a waist lock here. Going for a suplex attempt. I don't think so. Nah, I think Joe's trying to wiggle his way out of it. Oh, taking it out. Oh, oh unconventional with the roll up one. My goodness, what a move. Whoa! Oh, take him down. There's a cover. One. Oh, sweep of the cover. Cover up. Oh, saw it coming. Read it. He missed it. And there's the cover again. One, two, no, two count. Great technical wrestling right here. What a technical. Yeah, back to that. Review here going on here in the middle of the ring. I can tell you, don't let that physique fool you. The guy can move. Yes, yes he, he can. can. He can also fly. Here we go. Back in the wrist lock. Slowing things down. Trying to slow down the pace. Working that arm. Putting the leverage. 
Can Dirty Joe get out? Yes, he can. Rolls up. Kip up. Oh. Powers through. Oh, yes. Oh, wrist breakdown. Oh. Arm drag and locks it in. Yes, I, mean, I tell you what, this has been a great match so far. Right now, I have to give the advantage to Sparks with the technical because he gets the ground and ground. Dirty Joe, that's where he's the best. And look right. at that ground going back and forth here. What do you think, Sarge? Uh, it's it's kind of hard to call. The crowd's back and forth. They don't know who to cheer for. Joe's a dirty favorite. I mean, uh, Dirty Joe's the, one of the fan oh, favorites yes. around here. But then you got Corey Sparks. Oh, 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 counter. Oh. Counter rolls through. Right. That's a cover. One, two. That's a two count. He's trying to go for a hit toss, but using the momentum to roll him up. What a move. Yeah. What a yes, count. Yes, it is. I tell you what. Corey Sparks and throw to Dirty Joe. Dirty Joe has been able to counter it and vice versa. I tell this what? is a matchup. This, this is the championship matchup. That's you can only right. get here at AIWF. And That's the right. respect. Oh, never mind. There's a hot lock. Oh. Corey taking advantage here, which is smart on him. You don't want to keep your eye off the I opponent. Off the ropes. Give him any chance. Off the ropes. Swing him in. Nobody home. Oh, 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 oh. A bigger man down, but guess what? Oh, 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 can he do it again? He's feeling it. It's Corey Sparks. He's, his name's Spencer right. He is a spark. He's sparked up right now. On through. That's your mercy right there. Another hard again. miss. Sling oh. play. Sling play. Right. Goes to the cover. One, two, yes, two. Oh. Oh. Inches away from a new champion. And he can't believe it. Like I said, he's going to have to turn up the gears here tonight to try to get That's the win. Right. Here we go. Oh, full body splash in the corner. Oh, he's going to do it again. Oh, nice reversal. There's a reversal counter. Ooh, oh, no, no, elbow. No, no. That forearm and elbow hit some of the face there. Looks like he's sending him back. Oh, not, another reversal into the corner. Oh, another splash. Ball from the crowd, splash. I think he's taking too much shot. Time to talk. We there we go, like I said. Taking oh. too much time calling, talking to the crowd here. They just trying to outdo each other right here, right now. It's just and here we go again. The third splash. Right, again, taking too much time. There's the counter. Going in on another clothesline. Don't you think he learned by now, son? No, uh, yeah, I mean you think so. You think both of them would have learned by now. Yeah, I think Dirty Joe is getting ready to change up a little bit right here, right now. Oh, the oh. respect here. Oh, oh. Man, oh. get into a headlock. Oh. Into side headlock, lock it in. Got to be on your point at all times. Slowing time, down the pace there. here. Going off the ropes. Counter. Oh, leapfrog. Side. No, oh, you oh. messed up there. Insult for injury right there. Bo, hook There's a the cover. Hooked it in. One, two. That's a two count. It's good strategy, though. Yeah. yeah, he may have gotten the cover. He may have kicked out, but it expends energy. Exactly. Every, every time you go for a cover on the guy, and he has to use his energy to kick out. That's a whole lot less energy he's got for the match. I'll tell you what, this has been a great clean match right here so far. So far this is so what good. AIWF is all about. Yes, so, it is. So good so far. There we go. Headlock still holding on. Still has it locked in. Now it's going to take a little bit to get... Uh, Oh, Whoa! Oh, he picked him up! Oh. He picked him up with a side shot! That's it! Two. One, two! Oh, he gets a two count. Two count. Oh. I can't believe it! That bell almost rung right there. Bell almost rung. We almost oh. had a new champion, Corey Collier, here, trying to put it away. Get ready to set him up. What's the set him up? Set him him up. No! Oh. Out of the way! Oh, oh. almost hit shoulder in the That's pole. Right. Counter! Back into the corner. Oh, swing and a miss. A back body drop! Oh, One, yeah. two, no! Oh, man. Dirty Joe with the kick out at the last second, and the ref is just as surprised as we are. Two and three right. quarters. We almost had us a new AIWF Cruiserweight champion. There we go, Sparks, trying to spark something up, trying to get something going, trying to get the Sparks where oh, going. Stopping oh, his trap by a hard knee. Uh oh, Dirty oh, Joe looking uh -oh. to put it away. This could be it. Oh, oh counter. Stud on his feet. Thought he had oh, it. Super, super right in the middle of the ring. One, two, 
Oh, no! Mm. That crowd on the edge of their feet. Yes, Spurs trying to put everything out of the playbook and take morning. it away here. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I can tell, I can say that I'm really impressed with this young guy. Looks like he took too long. But uh, he needs oh, to Joe. stop showboating so much. He needs that. Just shows uh, his uh, is a little naive in his wrestling. Oh, Joe says he must. That real oh, word is in the ball. champ. Has him up. Oh, 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 Good night. Good night. Uh-oh. He's ready to put it away. He's getting ready for it. Tony Joe going up. He's taking too much time. Oh, he better get going. Corey Sparks still reeling from that gnarly power ball. And he hits Sparks. Tony Joe going up high. Falls Tony Joe retains the AIWF minute plan and turns away title. And Dirty Joe retains! What a splash! Yes! yes. That's the fact that's why AIWF has some of the best cruiserweights around. Right there is proof. These guys laid it on the line, and Dirty Joe came out on top. And there you have it. Dirty Joe retains the title. Let's give it up to this. Corey Sparks kid gave it all he can in there, left it in there, but the one and only Dirty Joe walks away with the W. Exactly right, exactly right. Like I said, I was really impressed with Corey Sparks. He really impressed me a whole lot. He may have impressed, but he didn't walk away with the gold. Dirty Joe showing the reason why he's still cruiserweight champion. Good Lord, Kevin. Look at that thing. Yo, Chris, come here. Look at this. You oh, that's that? huge. Dude, man. that might be the biggest one I've ever I seen. Know, yeah. right? Look, look at this. Look. That's huge, man. It's like a baby's arm, man. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, 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 that's nice, man. What can I say, guys? You know, Yo, come check this out, man. Check that you out. Gotta see what this. is all the. Oh. My. Gosh. Yeah, that's right. Is the king's hot dog. Yes, sir. It's a very good hot dog. Oh, yeah. The rumors are true. The king dog. 14 inches of pure beef. Well, fellas, I had a funny feeling that Kevin Phoenix would have to make some kind of appearance. Regardless of what's going on, if it ain't the self-promoter of the AIWF network himself. Yeah, just don't tell Joey Nuts that. And look who he's got with him. Well, welcome back, Mr. Smiley Diamondade. Mr. Smiley Joe. Kevin Phoenix coming out to the ring now. Talking about abuse of power here, David. And these two here have been... He is going at will for quite a while here, and it's hard to tell what's going on. Wrestling fans, we're going to listen and see what's going on. It's hard to tell what's getting ready to happen. Yeah, it looks like Smiling Diamond Day is ready to play T-ball, not baseball, because that's the only thing he'd probably be good at. Well, I did hear these two were drinking and lap dancing the other night, so I don't know what's going on. And the crowd's showing this is Dan so how they really feel tonight. Right now. Right. Okay, I'll yell muchacho. It won't hurt my feelings in it. Showing me number one out here. I would say he does there, Mr. Network. <laughs> oh, 
can't be good. No, 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 no. When it comes to Kevin Phoenix, I don't think anything's going to He always has something up his sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. But I respect, let me tell you, I respect it. But dang it. Unfortunately, he's not here. I was in on some of those meetings. Yeah. fighting champ, a champ that's ready. But come on, sometimes after a matchup, you need a time to recover. That's right. Yeah, I mean, he, he wrestled Damian Wayne in a hard fought match just a couple of weeks ago here in Mount Air. After a match like that, you deserve a vacation. Of course. Nate Diamond was not handed Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's great. We don't have to hear him anymore. <laughs> what he was saying was a bunch of dinners anyways. Yeah. Yeah, but Sergeant Stryker can tell you too, Devin. That title was not handed to Nate Dyke. He earned it the hard way. Uh-oh. They got company. Back 
Rico. That's Ty Tyson is here. I think he's had enough, just like we have here. Yeah, we've had enough this. Ty's been on the low here lately. He's had a long standing view with Kevin Phoenix. So this ought to be good. to see. Exactly right. But will Smile and Diamond Day do the right thing? No, that's the question. I think the crowd has spoken. I know I've spoken. I'd like to see that. Would you like oh, to see yeah. that? I would. That will be a main event match anywhere. You got that right. I mean, I would probably pay $20, $25 for a ticket to watch main, uh, Ty Tyson and Kevin Phoenix go out. I second that right there, Sergeant. Consultant, you know we're gonna want to see this. Yeah, exactly. First time I ever agreed with the guy, if you yeah. ask me. No doubt. I mean, him and I, we have no love loss on the AIWF uh, um, ringside show Thursday night. We're always going back and forth. And I never agree with anything that he's got to say. But this right here, I can totally get behind 100%. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here comes Casey Kane. What is up with this? And David Parrish, uh-oh. Oh man, jumping in front of mine. Oh no, here comes Joey Nugs. Why did I have David? Why did I have a caller when he was going to be? Joey Nugs. Why not? Of course. 
You know, maybe he's getting to be a thorn in their side here in the IWF. This is outrageous. This is the only way these two kids can go up against Ty Tyson is attacking from behind. Yeah. series between Jack and Ty Tyson. They were having, ladies and candy. gentlemen, a special gauntlet match. Ty Tyson in trouble, has to win by a count of five, while Casey Kane and David Parrish only have to win by a count of three. What do you think of that? that? That's totally stupid. Yeah, but to a Ty's uh, defense, these stipulations that Mr. Nugs has thrown out at him, so far he has successfully did it because he will get his hands on Jack, but he has to win this match also. But how much will Ty have left tonight at, his main, at the main event, the, the match with Kevin Phoenix, though? Talk about a gauntlet. Talk about a fight. Yeah. Because I agree, it's stupid, but look where it came from. Yeah. I mean, Joey Nugs is one of, the, one of the mastermind managers that's been floating around the independence. I, I'm glad, thank you for saying one of them. Yeah, because I'm up there. <laughs> I appreciate the respect. Oh, yeah, Thank yeah, you yeah. for recognizing me. Yes, sir. And here we go. David Parrish, Casey Kane taking advantage here from that a blatant attack from behind here. Tyson trying to fight back. Uh-oh, he's starting to fight back. Don't think about Ty Tyson. He is going to have to get some here. space here, get some separation, see if he can get separate the two and get in a good hit here and there. Yeah. That's right. Sergeant Stryker, you know about Kevin. I mean, not Kevin, excuse me, Ty Tyson and his toughness. You know, he'd almost have to kill him to get him down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, now both of them stomping him, mud holding him. But like I said, this is definitely not an advantage. It's like Ty's got to wrestle three different competitors tonight. Almost kind of like a oh, trial of Hercules. Back in Greek mythology, he had to go through all those trials just to get the gold. Ty Tyson is doing the same thing tonight. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't know Mr. Joey Nudge would have to do something to make a scene here tonight. And what's he trying to do? He's trying to just dismantle Ty. He's got, a, he's got the more personal vendetta than I think Jack or anybody else does. They're trying to weaken both legs on time. Uh -oh. Here we go, working the leg now. Ow. Smart on these two, working that leg. Very take smart. out the power of Ty Tyson. Yeah. Da doing some damage here. Yeah. He can't put no weight on it at all. Oh, oh wow. Oh. What a shoulder block knee. right into the back of the knee. That'll do some damage. That you know, the meniscus. Yeah. You know, David Ty's had trouble out of that knee anyway. A couple of years ago, he was out of action for a while through the injury. And now they're going right back after that leg right now. Yeah, I know what that feels like. I've been out for a couple of months myself taking a spear off the apron. I know what that damage can do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hyperextension. You know, though, old Joey Nugs is more aggravating than a tick on the dog. There we go. Ty Tyson fighting back. With the oh, oh, Roy, what a chop! The Casey came with the assist to the outside here. Ty Tyson fighting for his oh, life right here, that fighting for a, a chance at the gold. No, no, no! Oh, oh right my! Back to it. Super kick to the knee. Mm. Now, gentlemen, correct me on the ACL and really the recovery time about a year on most people. Just about. Yeah. I come back earlier than that. The physical therapy, the tenacity is it's trying to recover from such an injury. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh now he ain't going to do nothing but piss him off. They just well, make that time has a lot of balls to be poking a bear like that. Yeah. 
What is it, what, a buck ten soaking wet? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that's combined. Oh, they're going to try oh, some suplex. suplex. Uh -oh. Do you guys even lift, bro? I don't know about that. I don't, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think so, guys. Nope. Oh, oh God, God. God. Be the break that Ty Tyson needs. It very well could be. They don't weigh more than a sack of corn together. Ty just threw them over his back like it wasn't nothing. Oh, they all three now down and hurting. And that crowd behind Ty Tyson. Oh, that's not going to be good right there. Ty the crowd on the ropes. And you, and you know. You know Kevin oh. Phoenix is sitting back there in the back watching every bit of this right now, That's scouting right. out what these two guys are doing. Oh, and when yeah. it comes to that no disqualification and jail yard, jail yard brawl between them two, he knows Ty's not going to be a 100%, if 50% on that leg. Oh, down the oh, Wow. And Casey K took most of that. He just shot out of there like a rocket. I think uh, David... May have hit some damage on the knee, may have landed wrong. But this may be the momentum shift that Ty Tice needs. They take the W. All three yeah. men down here. You know, Phoenix may be in the back laughing, but I he's bet he's not laughing down now. Deep. He's got a dig down real deep. He wants to get back up into the mat. That's right. Jason Kane for him trying to get back on the offensive. Uh -oh. Ty Tice is feeling it. He's got his mojo back. Oh, Chaz are running. Oh, a double U. Double oh. punch. <coughs> Tim Bird. With the double punch coming in. Boot. What a boot. What a night. Boot. Here we go. Casey Kane in trouble. Another boot. boot. Double. Power, power slam. slam. Right in the middle of the ring. Oh, Ty daring him to get up. Big left Big drop. Try to go, no, but Jason covers with the, with the help at the last second. Uh -oh. Ty tries to go for the cover. That Casey in trouble. He's got Kane. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Like yeah. Mama used to try to suck it, boy, no. Oh, that that's a good strategy, not. separating the two, going in back to Casey. Oh, what a close run in the corner. That about took his head off. Up for a suplex. Oh, off the rope, shot. trying to get it off the rope. Oh! oh. There's the cover. One, two, no! Harris just got in there. That was close. The referee's hand was almost at three. Well, you got to remember, Ty's got to win by a five count, not a three count. Oh, that's right. Thank you for reminding me of that, Sergeant. Cutter! Cutter out of nowhere. There's the cover. One, two, no, oh, three count. Again, a close count. The close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, though. Uh-oh, what's it? Well, it's hard for sure. Trying to take out, right? I guess oh, it's no DQs. I guess so. Anything goes. Uh-oh. Oh, here goes Mickey oh, oh, Fulk with the save. Mickey Fulk with the save. Right. Time we got us after that loss. Oh, oh it's oh, personal, baby. Uh-oh. Driver Mickey Fault coming in hot. Oh, it's the Mickey Combo. The Mickey Combo. Oh, 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 oh. With the Suey combination. And he just planted Parrish and Kane right into the map. This is it. This could Put be. It away. Oh, he's going to get Paris now. Paris is in trouble now. Oh, oh they're on top of each other. Oh, 
double pin. One, two, three, four, five. He has it. He did it. And now this goal and match comes back to Mike Jordan loves in the ass again. throwing your weight around around here. Kevin Phoenix is definitely doing that tonight. Yeah, he's going to need somebody to keep bring, that, bring him down a couple of notches. I think Ty Tyson is the man to do it tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He needs to go back to the back, put some ice on that knee, and start thinking about the jail yard brawl. Sometimes you can't afford a hotel, and you have to sleep wherever you can. Sometimes you have to ride with people you don't like. Sometimes when you're in a car... Dude, really? What? Uh, so Come on, crazy. man! Uh. these two bring. Whoa. He just might Mine are better. Mine are $500. Those look like they come out of a bubblegum machine. As I was saying, what a combination these two bring. That's Paul Parazzi here. Papa, big Papa Razzi brings in the powerhouse. As Jeff Paul. Unorthodox, I will say this, but they do work together as a team. I'll give them credit. Jeff Paul just said, if you guys do not cheer, the greatest tag team there going home. Huh?
Tag Team Champions. Looks like they're decked out for the occasion tonight. Gorilla wearing a necktie, that's, a, that's new. Gorilla Q coming out. The Tag Team Champion. Hello, Matt. I'll tell you, David Matt Anderson is a legend here now. He's held tag out titles before with Sebastian Kane. Gorilla Q has held every title here in the AIWF in just a few short years. In a few short years, but they have been coming back and forth here. The current Mid Atlantic Tag Champions, him and Matt Anderson, twice have held these titles. Some fans for this tag match right here. You know, it's ironic how these guys came together. They did it in a battle royal of all things. The last two. Yourself, no. man, a real referee, not some piece of Trump or the referee? No comment. <laughs> Those overalls are kind of bent, though. <laughs> That's our here with the ref right there. He's uh, However, hey, if he can count of... one to one, two, three, we'll find. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does. He can do that. I'll give him credit. And see, our wrestling fans are getting out right. Our bulldog over here, she's getting out of the ground. This definitely is going to be an interesting uh, matchup. I was just about to say, it could be an interesting matchup here. Yeah. You got the speed and technicality of Jeff Paul. You got the powerhouse. And, and, and just don't let that physique, I say this every time, but paparazzi can move. He may, a big, he may be a big one, but he can move that big one. That's true. Yeah, he can. You know, I've seen him here a couple of times, and, you know, like you say, Shades of Vader, I mean, a big guy, but he, he's acrobatic. Matt Anderson, Q, trying to figure out what he is. However, Matt Anderson can move, too, for a bigger size guy. Well, a little. And the fans showing how they really feel. Wow. That kid just flipped him off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I like this crowd. They are honest. You know, I'm like this, and Jeff doesn't like this part. He can go back to L.A. with the other two Pauls, Logan and Jake. And there we have it. There's the bell. Both teams now ready to start. Matt Anderson. I don't think too many people are going to be hollering for uh, Mr. Paul there. I don't think so either. Oh, he's getting a little irate. Right now, he needs to focus on Matt Anderson. There we go, around. both in the lockup in the neutral, but oh. there's the tag already off the bat. He running scared like an old scouted dog. There's a whole lot of man to contend with. Yeah. That he is. No, I can't say that. Spirit. Oh, please not. I'd like to have my dinner sometime tonight, and that shades of that would just make my stomach churn. I was going out to the food truck, but I guess I will now. Whoa. Makes two of us. Ladies and gentlemen, both men in the ring now. It's about to be a giant kaiju battle. Lock up in the neutral. Here we go. 
Godzilla, King Kong, the Clash of the Titans. And I don't think we're going to see no airborne action right here between these two either. It's going to be all power and ground game tonight. And here we go, man Anderson feeling it. There's a lockup in the neutral. Like two Both bulls riding right right over, like a two bulls locked together in their horns. Here we go. Got that wrist up. Oh, smart on oh. paparazzi grabbing the rope. What Very a ring alert. Right <laughs> Did you just grab a nipple? <laughs> yeah. That's one way to, that's a hold. It works. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Maybe that or is it, that's his way to check to see if he's got a bra open him things. There we go. That's lock up in neutral, <laughs> Anderson looking for opening. There's a the lock up. Uh, and that's that's a headlock right there. there. Yeah. Locking it in, working it in, wrenching it out. I'll tell you what, this crowd is definitely into this match right here. Oh, paparazzi with the low of the midsection. Trying oh, to no. get some space, trying to get away from the headlock. Almost breaks through. Oh, uh, still holds on. He's got that vice grip going right there. Squeezing his head like a pimple. Yeah. I mean, you can see from the lack of hair that he's got on top that his head's turning red. Oh, he's stepping on his foot. That's a lot of weight on that foot. Look at him break. We're off the rope. Oh, shoulder oh. tackle. Both men clashing together. Like two rams. Let's try it again. Dodge Rams or, or Fords? Ah. Here we go, another shoulder tackle with oh, block. Yeah, if the Bengals would have had that kind of block and they'd have won the Super Bowl. No, oh, drop to oh. oh. Sorry, come a smart move by Matt Anderson. Oh, he's running that corner to be pampered by Mr. Paul. Is oh, that a tag? Did he go for the tag? It uh, looked like he did. And there's the, there's the tag. That's right. Jeff Paul in now. Coming in hot. Oh, <laughs> try to go for a shoulder tackle. Yeah, he's it's like hitting a brick wall. Another oh. one. You're trying again? I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. You don't need to don't do it. Time. That's like a fly trying to hit the brick wall. Oh. 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 I think he was. He is not That's some that air time on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like he was trying to call for a timeout or something like that. In mid-air. Yeah. <laughs> and now here comes Gorilla Q into the match. There we go. The double team off the ropes. Q. Oh, a sonic drop. Big oh, move. Oh, man. And, well, I tell you what, Gorilla Q improves every time you see him. He's getting better and better. Oh, oh top for Paul. Took a little too much time to get going. And you grabbed that mask Gorilla at the same Q. time. Uh-oh. Oh, right in the midsection, right in the abdomen. That was a little close to the boys. That could have been a low blow. Uh, yeah, it could have been. It was. Oh, oh drop. drop right there. Right in the sternum. That'll knock the wind out of you. Leg drop. Oh, Talk oh, about yeah. the leg. Two. Oh, just a two count. Little unorthodox of that pin. You should have grabbed that leg right there. Should have grabbed it. Should have hooked in the leg there. The crowd behind Q. Oh, off the rope. Show! Oh, right oh, like a so missile. Mm. My goodness. He got Q reeling right now. Q on the ground here in trouble oh. as the momentum has shifted over to Papa oh, Ross. He's using that rope right yeah. across the throat. I mean, and, and it all comes back to where Gorilla Q made that. He still got some things to learn, but he's going to get the back, right? get the out out back on the rack because things get dirty, baby. You know, sometimes well, during these matches, there should be two referees. I agree. With Paul there using the run to his advantage, squeezing out the air with that was left and Q. If you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. That's exactly. right. Now Q looks like he's gasping for breath right there. Paul's got him up. Oh, what a boot right to that. Big hey. boot. Mm. Oh, could be it. The cover one, two, Just two count. Two, yeah. 
I tell you, fans watching it live is awesome. You should come see us sometime. Watch us on Roku's okay, but there's nothing like being here live in an arena. Well, we see some great action tonight. Attack in the midsection, going for the abdomen here. Oh, he's in the wrong corner. No, he's in no man lands now. Not a place you want to be right now. No, you don't. Nope, not at all. That's a good on Paul, separating oh, the room. Oh, miss. Oh. Oh, hard oh, shot for Q. Fighting back now. Going into friendly territory. No, nope. oh, and again with the counter. There's oh. a tag. Oh, boom. Oh, you fighting him off. Uh oh. Oh, counter. Oh, that looked like it hurt. That'll knock the wind out of you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh my goodness. One. Two. Oh, good. Anderson was happened to get that right in time. And Matt Anderson with the save. Q in trouble. Oh, he was he was. I don't care who you are right there. That's a lot of weight coming to crash down on you right there. It can break some ribs or oh. sternum. There's a go Parachi putting. We'll talk about his weight, putting all that weight on his rope there. Yeah. Choking out the life of Q. He needs to make a tag and That's quick. Right. He really does. He's and taking he a lot and of he don't, We're going to see new champions. Oh, he's fighting back. Well, you fighting back, trying to fight back here with those forearms, those clotheslines. Here we go. Trying to get him off the rope. Fly high. Oh. Managed to get the big man down. That's a way to be the big man, get him off his feet. That's an opportunity right there. He needs to get over there and make a tag. He needs to make the tag. Crawls over, paparazzi. Oh, he's rolling. There's a tag. There's a tag. Managed to get in with the fire. Clothesline. Oh, Box it up! Double. Hard punch! Bullseye! Oh, Anderson is reeling them now. Reeling it quick! Quick combo in the corner. Pop rocks in trouble. Oh. 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 He's got paparazzi. Well, I meant to be sure the has got paparazzi uh -oh. in trouble now. It's on for a little payback in the He's corner going. here. Yep. Anderson's still on top of him right there. But you better watch. Yeah, Paul's still in the ring right there. Hard elbow. I mean, I don't even know who the legal man is right now. Uh, it should be Paul, man, pa man, Paul Rossi. I think so. I'm I thought it was Jeff Paul was the legal man, but I mean, Matt Anderson stays on. Oh, oh, oh Pavarazzi on the other side. Matt Anderson in. Oh, oh, oh knee to the, knee, right there. knee to the, gut, gut there. There's the tag. Little double oh, team action. Paul in trouble now. Oh. He's going up He's top. Matt Anderson in right here. In control now. Setting him up. Oh, oh, that's that's right. to be it right here. That could be it. Two, three. Wrestling fans, Anderson and Gorilla Q still are tag team champions. And they retain! Matt Anderson and Gorilla Q retain! What a matchup! They had us going there on the half. Let yeah. me tell you, I thought they were going to lose it, but they came back with a venture. That's right, that's what that good instinct has. You got to have that second win. They gave them the that and apparently that champion still retained. And with that, they walk away with the W. And still, AIWF Tag Team Champions. Exactly right. That's right. No matter how you did it, they won. Okay, wrestling fans, we're going to go to a commercial break right now. We'll be back with more action right after this. The bad men are known for doing bad things. And if you can't come see us at a live event in Mount Airy, North Carolina, or wherever we are across the Mid-Atlantic, there's another way you can watch us. Tell them, Robert. Boot up your Roku, look up AIWF Mid-Atlantic, and come witness what the bad men do best. And you know what that is? Bad things. See you on Roku. He's one of the meanest, toughest competitors we got here. We're holding that world television title. Also, Puts him in line for the world heavyweight title held by Mr. Damian Wayne right now. And you know, that's one match I would pay to see. 
I would pay to see that, so that'd be a hell of a matchup. But right now, he's on top of the world. The world breaker is now your current AIWF heavyweight champ. And his opponent, he is the current reigning AIWF world television champion. Or TV champion, there we go. At 250 pounds from Greensboro, North Carolina. Give it up for Jamal, the Titan! I thought he was from Hickory. I guess he moved. I was going to say Hickory, yeah, but look, he's no no stranger to the championship. Has been a Firestar Pro Wrestling Southeastern champ over 449 days. Former Mid-Atlantic TV champ and now our current world TV champ. That's right. He's one of the fastest risers in all of indie wrestling. I tell you what, he is going to be a tough one to beat. But I tell you what, Pretty Boy Lane, he may be smaller, but he is not afraid to get there with anybody. This could be a typical David versus Goliath match right here. Well, it's like the old adage goes, dynamite comes in small packages. That's right. I mean, I remember there was a young scrappy kid like him one day called Luscious Kevin that was 145 pounds soaking wet. But There's he come out all right. And here we go, matchup. Bell has rung. Both men looking around. They say Pretty Boy Lane's going to have his work cut out with him. That's Let me guess, right. he's going to have to use that speed and technique to his advantage here. Over the powerhouse, that is Jamal the Titan. There we go. There goes the speed right off the bat. Going for a waist lock. But you know, Pretty Boy Lane's done pretty good for himself since he's left the Pink Gang. I mean, he's held titles here. He's, you know, going up and down the East Coast doing pretty good. But like I said, he's up against a buzz all tonight. Sure is. There's a go. Jamal the Titan with a tight headlock. Side headlock there. Trying to get out Pretty Boy Lane. Oh, oh, counter there. Jamal's like, no, 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 no. Try to go again for the side headlock. Jamal pushing him off. Oh, he just threw him off. What power. Trying to get for the headlock. He had to jump for it. You saw that? Yeah. Oh, oh shoulder tackle. And he was met with nothing but brute force. Yeah. That's right. He's not going to make that easy. Over the ropes. Trying to go oh. for a leapfrog. Cotton midair. Oh, Jamal's over the counter. Oh, no. That's... Oh, man. Whoa! Oh. Out of the way. There comes the speed and handy Lucky Lane. Yeah. I wish you'd be calling him Lucky Lane after that. Yeah. That's right. Oh. That'll definitely send the tailbone up through the bottom port of your spine. Ooh, a oh, decent oh, shot. Oh, oh man. Ooh. Jamal is unfazed. Oh. Oh. Chases after him. Goes under. Oh, nice. Yes. And goes on top. Go for the oh, side headlock there. Great again. move right there. Flip moves there by Pretty Boy Lane. He's going to have to stay on the offense here if he right. wants to keep the one up yeah, there. He's going to have to. He's going to have to keep the big man off his feet. You know, gentlemen, I'll tell you one person in particular that's watching this match is our current AIWF Mid-Atlantic TV champion, Benny Conley. He is the last person here to defeat Jamal. And I know Jamal would like to hold both those titles. Hopefully we'll get that in the works before long. We'll talk to his head, see if they can bring that up and... Upcoming super right now the action heating up here as people right. lane locks in that headlock counter here. Jamal Titan with the head scissors. No, but Pretty Boy Lane managed to counter crowd the leg here. Uh oh. It's a way to get the big man down. No, work oh, him on the leg. Make off. sure he keeps on the ground game. Take out the power over the wall. Oh, Whoa! Oh, oh, man oh, down. oh, oh he's just looking in disbelief right there. Uh oh, ooh. oh, he's a little CO if you ask me. Yep. Big boy trying to go on the apron now. Drop it! Oh, oh, oh right to across the outside, that. Right in the barricade. Oh, mm. That's got to hurt his ribs right there. He's holding them right here. Yeah. That still mm. does not forgive nobody. No, not at all. Ooh, he Look, almost... it's a simple fall, quote unquote, but if you fall any kind of funny, you can break your elbow, you can hurt your knees, you can hurt your, your ankles. Yep. Oh, 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 sickening oh, bud. From that chop from Jamal the Titan. Yes. Oh, toss against the apron. Oh, the hardest part of that ring right yes, there. Yes, it is. And Jamal the Titan now relishing the pain and the damage he's dishing out. Pretty Boy Lane trying to fight back, but those clubbing bulls stop him. That's right. Now Jamal just... Oh! oh smack. Oh, slap. That Jamal was not lead. happy with that. No uh -oh. mistake. He just tore oh, just with the bear. Oh, oh right on the 
Oh, man. Out of the apron there. Oh, you'll need a chiropractor after that one. Yeah. Right on the apron. Uh -oh. There's no point no, laying reeling in the ring now. There's no give to that ring on the side of the apron like that. Yeah, it's, it's nothing but hardwood and steel there, son. Yes, exactly right. Now, Jamal. Go ahead and forgive me. I'm stuffing my face. I didn't have time to get done eating during the intermission. It's all right. It's all right. We'll got it from here, son. Oh, what a smack right there. Pretty Boy trying to fight back for his life quite literally as the clubbing blows continue from the champion. That's right. That back's weak right now as it is, and Jamal's starting to work on him again. Oh, oh no. He's going to put the one on his way oh, on his back. It's too easy. You need to get him off the ropes, Rip. That's right. He that'll choke the life plumb out of you. Look, I've been in the ring with Jamal. He's an intimidating force to be reckoned with. You're going to have to work on that ground game. Work on those legs. Take out the power. They try to even face any type of opportunity against Jamal the Titan. That's right. Wow. How'd your match turn out with him? Technically, I won, but it was a tag match. But, you know, I had the help of the awesome Natalina Corvino. Oh, working on that back again right there. There you go. The clubbing bros is coming down like... There's a reason why they call them hammer fists. That crowd behind Pretty Boy Lane, right. I can't believe it. Yeah, at one time the crowd didn't think too much of him around here, but he's had a change of heart, a change of tenacity, and now they love him. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. Jamal looking for something gnarly here, uh -oh. using the turnbuckle as a torture rack device. Yeah, that, the back's not supposed to be. Oh, 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 slam. Like yesterday's trash over his shoulder. You know, he's lucky. He's just throwing him around like he's a sack of potatoes. One, two, two, just a two, two count. That's close. Champ almost attained. There we go. Coming in hard on Pretty Boy. Hard fist to the forehead of Pretty Boy Lane right there. Yeah, I think Jamal's just a little bit frustrated. Yeah, the pure instinct trying to roll away. I would be too. They give it to Lane, he's not giving up. Oh. And Lane knee. trying to topple the Giant, but the Giant's still coming in hot. Oh, oh, oh. double chop. Oh. Double you can, chop. You can see the fingers forming like tan turkeys on his chest. Hard, hard oh. forearm there from Jamal the Titan up in his shoulders. Pretty boy with the counter. Drop oh. kick to the midsection. Let his back on his feet like a cat. Coming I back again. Him. Can he go for a third time? He's going for it. He and got it. a drop kick. Uh oh, he's got Jamal real. Got him oh, him shifting. Oh, he missed. Missed Coming again. In. Will this be it? No, cut. Oh. He's been cut. This could be it. Oh, oh that's man. it. Two. No. Oh, two count. Oh. Two. Oh. That cocky pin ah, gets good. you every time if you're not careful. No, Jamal thought he had it. I thought he had it. And just pure instinct, pretty boy kicking out. There we go, Jamal now still working on that back. Oh, he's stretching that back out right there in those arms. All that pressure on that vertebrae. That can't be comfortable. No, not at all. Oh, feeling the shoulders back. separate no, like that. Right in the lower back. Pretty boy Lang trying to fight off the monster. The world breaker almost toppling over. Oh, oh, back oh, elbow. Oh. He ran Good into that. Night nurse. He bounced off the mat. Did you see that, Sarge? I've oh. seen it. Looked like I've seen a cuff fly off in the air. Yeah, like a basketball. Uh -oh. And Jamal the Titan calling it. It's over. It could be. He's taking just a little bit too long, though. This time, oh. slowing down the pace. Titan balls. It's his. Oh, oh he missed. He, he counted it. Oh, 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 a little bit left in him. Oh, oh, oh what a He finally got the big man off his feet. Off the ropes. Oh! Springboard boot. One, two, oh! oh, oh man. Man. The crowd's stunned just as we are. Oh. Jamal Jamal Lane Lane almost lift. had it. Uh-oh. Looks like Lane. Oh, he's going airborne. Oh, no. I think he's taking too much time, though. Uh -oh, Jamal, Jamal ready. No sign coming. Oh, no. This can't, it's not going to be good. Uh oh, oh looks like his world's about to end. Jamal the Titan. Pretty boy Lane looking to counter, trying to fight. Go. Oh, bum, bum, bum. Uh -oh. 
Oh, this is, could be it right here. Oh. oh, man. I don't see how he can get out of this. Oh, one. two. No. Yeah, wow. My goodness. Man. He kicked out. <coughs> Are you serious? Talk I don't about know how he's just running on pure drilling in the instincts right now. Man. Oh, stupidity. True. Are you serious? Oh, that's what a blatant aspirations of gold disrespect right there. smack. He's angry. He should have he should have just stayed down. Knee to the face. Giant stumbling. No. Oh, you got no it. way. Man, uh -huh. No one. way. He got it. Oh, he got it. He got it. One, two, no. Two, no. Oh, oh, man. Are you serious? Whoa, Lane had him here. Are you serious? serious? Wow. Serious. Oh, man, that was. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, Lane. Man, he's That's throwing everything at him but the kitchen with, sink. With a little payback here. I can't believe it. He managed to get Jamal tying up on his shoulders. Uh-oh. Lane needs to get up there fast. He's letting Jamal up. He's going to sprint. Uh-oh. Got him. Oh. oh, man. This could be it. That's it. Oh, oh, good. Wow. What a match. Jamada Titan caught him in midair with the Titan fall and takes the W here and retains the TV championship. However, he was in the dog fight right there. Lane gave him all he could ask. Yeah, and Jamal was exactly hunt. right, Bobby. Pretty boy Lane gave him everything that he could handle. But he just got a little bit too cocky and fell up a little bit short. That's right. I will say this, you know, somewhere Jim Stone is waiting for his rematch. That's going to be a match I can't wait to see. Up. Oh, yeah. Strong words from Jamal the Titan. That's yeah. right. Hey, Paul, I'm hungry. You forgot to pack a lunch. That's all right, son. I stopped off at King's Hot Dogs. We got us some King Dogs. You're the best, Pa. King's Hot Dog, building family memories for over 30 years. Located in the Village Square Plaza in Rural Hall. Call 336-969-4688. <laughs> this is the life, son. It sure is, Pa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty it is now this. time for the main event. It is a prison yard match, which is a no disqualification. And it is for the vacant AIWF Mid-Atlantic Championship. Introducing first. Yeah, a title that should not be vacant either. No, it should not. Nate Diamond got robbed. You know, it could have been a scheduling thing or something. Hey, you never know. But the way they did this, Dave and Phoenix, is uncalled for. What in the world? How fitting that Kevin Bennett comes out in the handcuffs. That's exactly where he should be. He looks like he's been from the movie Oz. Hope he don't drop the soap. 
I think he took this pigeon match a little too, uh, a little too seriously. Is this the longest yard? Yeah. I think I should keep him in them handcuffs. And the crowd show you how they really feel. I tell you what, I hate to say this, but ever since he's become a network producer, his cocky and his cockiness and arrogance has gotten to an all-time high. Gentlemen, he's coming up against a buzzsaw. You know he's already mad about what happened earlier this evening. I just hope Ty Tyson is in physical shape to be able to compete in this match. I agree. After all the debacles, after all the shastiness, after all the dinnerness, The ref trying to keep these two men separated. Oh, you guys really take this prison match rules really seriously, huh? Uh, apparently they do. This is the first one that I've ever seen like this. So, you know, gentlemen, we used to have a guy here that used to be in a prison uniform. I think maybe he went back to jail. For all I know, I haven't seen him in a while. However, one of these guys may be a cellmate after night. Oh no! Here we go again. Here we go again. What in the world is going on? And the ref calling the bell. Leave it to no. no DQ here. That's right. So anything goes. But here's the thing. Ty still has a handcuff song. He still does. And again, Case and Kane. Parrish and Kane and Parrish again out here at ringside of the assist. Of Kevin Phoenix. This is not a match. This is a lynching right here. Oh, he's got a chair now. And Nug still has Ty Tyson's weapon that he stole off of him a couple of weeks ago, too. So basically, this is a four-on-one handicap right now. Talk about. Uh -oh. oh, man, he's going to lay Ty with that thing. Oh, this just got personal. Man, he's cutting into him like he's hitting him in the head. He has even the ref can't look. There's nothing really he can do. Yeah. No, not. Oh man. Nothing at all that can be done. That's some bands this may not be for the weak of heart either. Oh, we bleach the ring after this. Oh, hard hot. Hard shots there from Kevin Phoenix. Beating down Ty Tyson. Talk about your prison gang has been busted up beat down. Oh man, they busted Ty open already. Ty's been busted open. And Joey Nuggs is enjoying it here on ringside. Yeah. Uh oh. Like I said, Ty needs some help out here if he wants to win this thing fair and square. Yeah, this is just. Again, the tactics of Kevin Phoenix coming into play here during this matchup. Yeah, this is just a straight, basically you might as well call it a three-on-one handicap match. Well, actually with Nugs, you got four out there. Oh, good point. Oh, oh right, right the in the steel chair. Oh, this cannot 
Oh, here comes Mickey Ball. Mickey Ball. Mickey Ball. Mickey Ball. Mickey Ball. Mickey He's taking out Parrish and Kane both. Sue and Kane goes. Like I said, everything's legal. Uh-oh, here comes Super Smiling Diamond. He can't get his nose out of it. Mickey Ball. Dave. Yeah, I guess he thinks oh, this is funny. Look, oh, he's going. Cool. And now Dave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Like Dave, uh, <laughs> I can't I, believe he's actually like being useful. Yeah. Has he had a change of heart? What is he doing? There we go. David Paris, Cassie K taking care of Mickey Fall. Quick work of Mickey Fall for weak side. Yeah. Oh, Phoenix don't like it. Uh-oh, oh, they're trying well, to... Well, Cassie K's trying to stop. I tell you what, these Security young... Security out here, finally. They better think twice before they get uh, the commissioner. Apparently, they don't realize he's a legend around here. And Kevin Phoenix enjoying themselves, now relishing in the fact that they, Ty Tyson's hurt. And while they were messing with Ty over here, they triple-team Mickey Ford. He's down on the concrete over here. It looks like the handcuffs have been jammed by the by the work of Casey Kane and, and Kevin Phoenix. Uh oh, oh they're showboating too much right now. They ought to be over here trying to get Ty instead of playing to the crowd. It's giving him time to get loose over here. If the commissioner's really going to try to get him out. Uh-oh. Now they're attacking Fulp again. Fulp trying to get in on this, but now they're just, oh, no. It's Mickey in trouble. Oh, man, they're going after his ribs over here. Still having trouble getting Ty's cuffs off, though. Zip tie cuffs here. I'm just trying to inside as Mickey Full taking a lot of the brute force here. Casting Cage. They may have to cut them things. Paris on the inside. Enjoying that. Look, look at the face of that guy. Yeah, I mean, enjoying this. An ugly smug or an ugly smug. It is kind of ironic how the commissioner's actually trying to help Ty get his cuffs off after the. Uh, past history that they've had. Yeah, a little, little huddle there between Kevin Phoenix and Nuggs. Yeah. And still casting oh, Kane. Oh, they got the cuffs off. And Paris working on Mickey Fulk. Nope. Oh, he's going to wrestle with the cuffs on him. Well, hey, at least both his hands are free now. He's messed up. See, that's what I mean. This position that I don't think has realized that they just poked the bear, and the bear is hungry and ready. He thinks he's slicker than snot. Casey Kane. And, and I don't think Kevin Phoenix realized oh, the time. There oh, 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 we go. And anything goes, I guess Ty Tyson is going to be using those handcuffs kind of like uh, knuckles. Oh, yeah. Oh, back elbow from oh, Ty Tyson. Go. It's like two bottles of orange juice going at it. Kevin yeah, Phoenix and Chubba, not oh, only what's going on here. Out. They actually got the bulk cutters out. They have to. Now Nug's over there with that mouth of his. You know, Sergeant Stryker, we've had our, we've had our little instances with him on the network. Yeah, now go. he's back at it again with them jaws. And there you go. Joey Nug's are giving some advice to Kevin Phoenix of inside, telling him to get up. Man, them 
things is tough. Huh? Those, so, wow. I mean, well, those are that metal handcuffs. They are. I mean, bolt cutters supposed to cut through a master lock. That right there must be something tougher than a, uh, he got tougher him. than a master lock. Well, at least he has some kind of backup just in case something goes wrong in the ring. He can use it as a weapon. If yeah, exactly. Oh, what a body slam right there. Beautiful body slam from Kevin. Oh, Kevin Phoenix in trouble now. Big elbow. Ty Tyson dropping that knee there on the face of Kevin Phoenix. Oh. Kevin trying to get anything he can to get away. Oh, hit him with that bucket. Oh, Smacked him in the head with a bucket. You know, here's a fact. One of my favorite metal bands is Buckethead. <laughs> yeah. He may need that bucket for something else after a while when he gets beat. Oh, yes, he is. Ty Tyson on ringside here. Oh, here comes Tyler to come out to get a hit the side of the head with the bucket. As Kevin Phoenix here getting it from Joey Nugs him to finish him off. And they're still trying to get that handcuff off. Stuff must have been made in China or something. It ain't working. Uh-oh. And Kevin Phoenix taking his time, fighting with Whoa. Whoa. fans on oh, the side. He just pushed the wrong fan right there. Oh, Still. That's the bulls on. Oh. Ah, Phoenix never looked better with that bucket on his head. Uh, doesn't realize what's going on. There we go. And Ty Tyson. Oh. Oh. That'll ring your bell. Yeah. That cleaned his clock. Bing dong bing. So Ty Tyson with the bucket now. Oh, okay. Payback! Oh, Phoenix! God! Now set knocking right off of Smack that bucket right over the top of Kevin Phoenix's head. He's, He's sitting in Stala Lane right now. And there it goes, Ty Tyson oh, oh. looking for some. Oh, there's some punches. Oh, Anything goes. Time, oh, and Joey Nug can't even, he can't do nothing behind his head. He can't hardly watch. No, he can't look. He may need that crutch after this match is over. That's right there, Bobby. Those guys have took a beating already, I tell you what. This has been something, wrestling fans. I hope you're enjoying it right here on Roku or whatever outlet you have. It's been an amazing night. This <laughs> main event's topping it. What a main event it is, Bobby Dawn. Here we go. Ty Tyson with a cookie sheet? Yeah. He ain't baking cookies. He's oh, hell. Oh. Not his. He just preheated the oven for an ass whooping is what he yes, did. That's he did. Right. That thing more good. If that had been the truest there. part, that thing would have been knocked out of the park. I hate to say this, I know we're supposed to be biased, but I wish he'd take that sheet and go out there and whack nugs with it one time. I hear that. Oh! Shot. Kevin Phoenix down. Home run. Kevin Phoenix taking the blood of that cookie sheet. Joey, you can hear Joey Nugs on ringside telling Kevin to get up. You know, security still ain't got that thing off. They don't have enough, you know what, behind them to cut it off. Guys, it's time telling him to dig deep here, trying to fight back. Uh oh, here comes our commission Tyson. back. Got to watch him with that bat. You never know; he could be a weapon too if he can move. Ty Tyson grabbing the chair here, looking for some damage. We got Commissioner Dave standing out here with a t-ball bat. Yeah, you never know about him. Oh no, Kevin Phoenix in trouble. Kevin, no! Ty Tyson goes head first into the chair. That chair's bent. Somebody gonna have a headache in the morning. He's gonna feel that tomorrow, right? This in the middle chair. What a main event we got going on here, folks, for Capital Punishment 2022. Ty Tyson with Kevin Phoenix for the right AIWF now. Mid Atlantic Championship. The everybody's game as the carnage continues as they try to one up each other, trying to go back and forth to do the most damage to get the other man down. Is that is that siding? Yeah. No, it's a it's one of them uh, little wooden things that, that back in the old days it looks like that women used to open up the chains behind. You know, it's hard to tell what they're gonna drag out in here or what they stole. Over somebody's house to get here. 
It looks like they just went by the dumpster, picked out whatever they can to beat each other down. Uh, well, this is the AIWF. Oh, man. He hits him right there. He's going to be picking two picks out here. Trying to pick up Ty Tyson. Ty Tyson fighting I mean. back. Knocking elbows. Kevin Phoenix trying to fight. No! Oh! oh! He goes through! He goes through! Oh! That could have snapped the spine. And Kevin Phoenix goes through the barrier. The right side of the window hell. panes, whatever those are. My oh, goodness God. gracious. He's got so many in him, you can put him on a spit grill and twist it. The crowd behind Tyson. Oh, we're definitely going here. Getting up to his feet now. Kevin Phoenix oh, struggling. Both men fighting up to get some stancer. No. Uh oh. Uh oh, how that goes in. This for Joey Nuggs. Uh oh, here goes Dave. Trying to choke Ty Tyson out of the bottom rope. Uh oh. The commissioner. Commissioner. Oh. No. What? He just threw Joey Nuggs out. He threw him out for sticking his nose in some white dope and low. Yeah. The commission? Really? Yeah. I can't believe it. Me neither. Now maybe it'll be more quieter around here with Nugs Jones. And here he goes. Now become an even fight. That's right. Kevin Phoenix, Ty Tyson, title on the line. Who's going to take it tonight? He looks like he's dazed and confused. He don't even know where he's at right now. I would be too after going through some window pains. I don't think. I think he thinks he won. Uh, yeah, I mean he, he must have. I don't know. Well, they were drinking the other day. Him and the commissioner. Oh no! He uh, got old Betsy. Old Betsy, the Bob wire bat. That's just as bad as Janice. She made her appearance here a few years ago. Looks like her little brother's still here. Here we go, Ty Tyson sees what's coming. Kevin Phoenix coming in. He's a little bit struggling to get to their feet. Oh, what a oh, shot. Oh, boy. Hard shot there from Kevin Phoenix. Oh, man. You know, he hits him with that. He'll shred him like cheese. Oh! oh. Ty on that cold time. Tyson laid out here on the floor. Oh, he's trying, trying to get away, get into space here, get some breathing room. Kevin yeah. Phoenix still coming back with the onslaught. You know, David, he's in the wrong place. Uh oh, he's. No. Oh. What did he grab? Looks like he's got a lighter. He's got a lighter for No. Oh, man. He's no, got he's not. Thing. He's going to light the bat on fire out. and barbed wire. He's going to try to cook time. Talk about innovation. He just went out. No. What is no, no. No, come on. Don't. Oh, come, on. come on. He hits him with that. He's going to be well done. No. Oh, oh my gosh. Cutting in. Talk about doing some damage. Oh, that do plus cutting plus burning damage. This is pure out. Brutal. And the, and oh. the ref on time telling him to stop. Oh, he's sticking up for him. Uh -oh. Technically, yes, it's no DQs, anything goes, but... Oh, no, uh, Ty. No payback. No, oh, right oh, the oh, He got him. Oh, he him oh, in the midsection. Talking about barbecued ribs. Wow. And it's still on. There's a movie oh, oh. Now what? A stop sign. Ty says it's time to put a stop to it. Man, I thought I heard some cars crashing a while ago. Somebody stole the darn stop sign off the road. Uh-oh. Speed limit's about to hit 40. It's about to go over That's 40 right. miles per hour as it brings that crashing down. I give it oh! Stop the reckless driving oh. right now. Have mercy. And I can't oh. to see anybody go for the cover. It's just become personal. It's yes. just a beat down. Phoenix looks like a deer in the headlights. He is definitely. Oh, he's begging for mercy now. He's begging for 
Please don't. Please don't. Just what? put him out of his misery, Ty. The only thing they ain't had each other with there is a kitchen in. sink. Did it, Ty! on the stop sign. Did it, Ty! Did it! One, two, no! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. God. And the crowd can't believe it. I thought that was a three count there, Sarge. I thought it, it was too. Ty Tyson, Kevin Phoenix in trouble. Oh, Kevin, land on his feet, slip to the side, punch. Oh. Man, step flying everywhere. One, two, no. Whoa, whoa. Oh. 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 And the match continues. The corners continues. There's even a fan in commentary. You can't believe what's going on. No. Both guys have oh, pushed it open. How can they have anything left? Man. Kevin Phoenix saying this, this is it. Oh, that's, oh, Phoenix now, he's got that road sign. No, no, got the road sign ready, setting up for something big, something evil. Ty Tyson better get up. Slowly getting up to his feet. Kevin Phoenix not aware of what's going on. He think he's about to see it. Oh! The ref beside himself. I can't, can't believe the car is himself. Got him up. Uh oh. He's going for a superplex. Set him up for a superplex. Superplex coming. Building up. Superplex! Oh, 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 I think that's on the total on both of them. I think both of them took some oh. damage. You're right. He bounced him oh, off that ring like a basketball. Good on the ref counting here. Four count. Both men still down. Oh, he's up to a 70 to one of them. Still. Moving. Oh, they both barely beat the 10 count. Oh, oh. hard shots there. Both men fighting, exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. Who's going to come on top? Who's going to take the title? Who's going to take the coveted goal here tonight? Who's going to have brown stains all over the It's been a barn burner of a match all night long. It could go either way. Right now. These two guys will be lucky if they can make it out of that ring. Now, they have been yeah, alive or standing. I think it doesn't matter. Someone's going to take away the win here. Both men bleeding. Both men leaving whatever they got. Blood, sweat, tears for this championship. That's right. Off the rope. Oh, no, Phoenix stop, Phoenix. stop that from Kevin Phoenix. Looking to put it away. Has it hooked. Oh! Tyson is out. There it is. We could have a new champ. We could have a new champ. He's struggling to get him over. One, two, no! Oh, no! Two count only. Mom, how did Good. I kick out of that? And the crowd behind Tyson. Man, talk about a main event. This is what it's all about here at AIWF. The action, the wrestling, uh -oh. the carnage. Ty Tyson's hooking up again. Here we go. He's coming in. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Kevin Phoenix, it's time to say Buenos Nachos, Kevin. They don't Two. call this capital punishment for nothing. Here we go Get off the ropes. Oh, 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 the mush. Oh, 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 around like a trout out of water. What a boot. Gosh, Hit him so oh, hard, his insides went inside out and flipped him over. Yeah. This ain't a slobber knocker, this is a uh -oh. finger. Oh, Kevin's going up top. Kevin Phoenix in trouble. Ty Tyson going to the top of the rope. Uh -oh. Trying to put it away. Could this be it? Oh, Could this be it? Ty Tyson. He's taking too long. Top of the rope. Bobby Dalton, he is taking way too long. He's about to put it away. Oh. Oh. Drop, 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 
Space here between Ty Tyson, oh, Parrish, hey, and Cave rightfully in the corner. Hey, Nubs is lurking over there. The ref checking on to. Tyson. As Kevin Phoenix and the Commission have a bit of a heart to heart here. Kevin Phoenix and the Commission trying to get it oh. down the middle. Well, at least he's done something right. He's making a fair fight. This week, look, who's the Commissioner? What new commissioner is this? I think the three stooges need to get out of it. Just like Nubs, he can't keep his nose out of it. And the crowd telling the commission not come out. Kevin Phoenix. Commissioner! Oh. Can't keep his nose out of this! I can't believe it! This was a commissioner oh, man, for the authority. Oh, oh, that classic, you need to do something about this. This is nothing but a pure lynching. This is a monopoly! My monopoly of BS! Banana slippers! Dinners! Bull crap! Whatever! First ever! Exactly right. First they were drinking, then they were lap dancing, now they're double teaming. That's a 501 out here. That's nailing them with that bat. And unfortunately, the left can't do nothing but watch because it's a no DQ. He's more sneakier than a politician. No! Tyson kicked out! Tyson kicked out! But he has but he has no help out here, Ty does. Looks like Mickey's been incapacitated. Surely somebody in the back can come out here. The security him. is busy trying to keep the fans from getting right there just as tight as we are. I mean they had a girl oh, looking over there in the front tower. She had a kendo stick. I'm not exactly sure who she was going after. He can't pick the Thor hammer up. That doesn't Somebody mean it's busy, he's not worthy. What a whip right there. He can't pick the hammer up. Oh, he's giving Ty time to get off his feet. I can't take this more. No, I can't take no more. I'm about to lose I'm, my voice. I'm about over. to have a heart attack right here. I mean, just so close for the boat. 
great googly moogly. But now it looks like there's no disqualification. It's basically turned into a one, two, three, four, five. Five on one. Oh, but yet they're smiling. They he enjoyed himself. Relishing the carnage he's just committed. That's what I'm saying, Sarge. They get a knock Mickey out. He can't help. You may have to go up there and help and tie up yourself. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for AIWF here presents Capital Punishment. I'm David Estacado, here at Wigstein, and I am Sergeant Stalker, 
And along with Bobby Dalton, thank you gentlemen for being here.